Let's get serious. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Nuts of the XOX here, and I have another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay for you today. Yes, that's right, Black Ops 2. Um, decided uh, decided to hop onto a good Call of Duty game, fire up the old 360, and uh, get the old uh, SMR full auto out with uh, Nuketown. <laughs> Nuketown. Anyway, uh, the reason I wanted to do a Black Ops 2 gameplay for you today is um, I kind of wanted to make a little bit of a, a wish list video for Black Ops or Black Ops 3 or World of War 2 or whatever it's going to be, um, the next Call of Duty game, because uh, you know the reveal tends to happen in March and that's only or not not March May May I lied it's March right now uh, it happens in May and it's only like two months out and I wanted to give my uh, you know pre-game analysis of what I think is going to happen and what I want to happen. Now, what I want to happen more than anything else is I want the exosuits gone. I want I want Treyarch to be the one that breaks the mold because they're really good at breaking the mold and, and move away from this movement mechanics thing that everybody in the first person shooter genre is following right now. The whole let's, let's be, uh, you know, like Titanfall the, you know, movement mechanics and jumping and sliding around, like, you know, Advanced Warfare is not a Call of Duty game, because there's just so much movement, there's no map flow, it destroys everything, it's just, it's, there's just too much movement, it's too much chaos, it's too much hecticness, and it's not a Call of Duty game, it's proper, um, I'd like to see Treyarch move back into the history elements of, you know, if it's World of War II, it's obviously gonna be back in time, but, you know, I'm kind of getting tired of the whole um, future warfare thing. It's kind of getting old, and um, you know, I'd I'd like to see Treyarch do something different. I Treyarch always does a great job doing something different. Um, but that's a really big thing for me. Is let's move back into history. I don't care what time period it is. World War One, for God's sakes, I don't care. 1980s, you know, there's so many different time periods in history that you could do as a Call of Duty game, um, that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's awesome, the amount of things you can do, and, uh, the future warfare thing is getting a bit saturated, and please don't bring back the movement mechanics of advanced warfare, because it will be taken, uh, in bad taste. I don't think they're gonna do that, I think, I think it's gonna go away and die out pretty quick, because... People are getting kind of annoyed with it. At least I am getting kind of annoyed with it. Anyway, um, the second big thing is to get rid of the skill-based matchmaking. And if you're going to at least put the skill-based matchmaking in the game, um, put it in the game where it makes sense. You know, skill-based matchmaking is... I've touched on it enough. Skill-based matchmaking needs to go in Advanced Warfare. And if you bring it back, <laughs> you're just like... You're literally like, we hate our community. And we want them to not play our games anymore. Because for the last two years, Call of Duty's been pretty non existent for me. And, you know, this next game is going to pretty much determine, at least for me anyway, how successful the franchise becomes on next gen. Because this is probably the game I'm going to be playing for three years. Because, given Infinity Ward's last, you know, debacle with ghosts, I'm, I'm not excited for their next game. And given uh, Sledgehammer's debacle with Advanced Warfare, I'm not excited for their next game either. So, Treyarch, you really gotta step it up here. You gotta give us hold for three years because, you know, let's be quite honest, no one's gonna play the next two games <laughs> after you. Um, but, I don't know. I, I really think a lot of these things are gonna happen. I can happen. You know, people don't like skill based matchmaking enough to not put it in. I think that they're ready to go back to the history. I think. They're ready to get rid of the movement mechanics. I really want to see them gone. And, I don't know. I just want a more fun experience. I want a casual COD experience. I don't want this whole, let's uh, cater to the MLG people and let's be all this big on, on competitive. Competitive, competitive, competitive. You know, we're not competitive. We're not MLG. Keep COD casual, right? That's, that's it right there. Tagline for you, Treyarch. For your new game, keep COD casual. There you go. That's all I wanted to say. That's that's how I'm going to end it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to leave like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys later when...
the game drops or more information comes in. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.